Hello friends today our topic is realization of system in this topic uh, all right in this video we'll cover two types of structures and that is direct form 1 and direct form 2 basically i will give you some tricks like by finding h of z how can you directly draw the structure all right now we have two types of filter all right two types of filter so we have infinite impulse response filter and we have finite impulse response filter so how to identify them it is very simple like if we have y of n plus minus k so example is y of n minus 1 or y of n minus 3 so on if you have this then it means it is a infinite impulse response here we have only y of n so if there is only y of n and there is no and there is no this y of n minus 1 and y of n minus 3 and so on any value like that then it means it is a finite impulse response filter so let's see how to solve them so our question is obtain that direct form 1 and direct form 2 structure and the equation is y of n Minus three by four, y of n minus one, plus one by eight, y of n minus two, and that is equal to x of n plus one by three, x of n minus one. Okay, so first step is always to find h of z. So if you don't know how, what is h of z, h of z means it is a transfer function, and how to find them, I have covered already in my previous video. You can watch this. uh links are in description so h of z so h of z is 1 by 1 plus 1 by 3 z inverse upon 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2 and this is important what is important that you have to write in inverse form all right we have to find h of z in inverse form so first step is clear to find h of z and z should be in inverse form now now we have to draw direct form 1 so what is the first step all right see carefully this is the trick that i am showing to you now the first step is x of n in the left hand side and y of n in the right hand side okay now we have to draw two plus signs over right here and this is our first step so this is very simple now what we have to do that is very important see we have numerator part and we have denominator part numerator part is always zeros and denominator part is always poles so it is clear now in this direction we will write zeros and in this direction we will write poles now you can see this direction is backward direction this means whatever value we have we will write negative of that so what are now values values are 3 by 4 and 1 by 8 see minus 3 by 4 is the value so when we plot here we should write 3 by 4 similarly 1 by 8 is the value so when we plot here we should write minus 1 by 8 so let's see how to solve them so very first step we have 1 so 1 is going directly as it is 1 all right now the second we have term is 1 by 3 z inverse so you can see there is a delay delay is always represented like this with a square box and inside it is z inverse all right so now we are delaying it and the coefficient right here we are in the right uh, direction so sign will remain as it is 1 by 3 so you can say that in zeros we have positive signs in poles we have negative sign so let's do now the pole part again y of n yes one is covered this means y of n now we have delay all right so again delay this with z inverse and again there is a plus sign and it goes up 
Now here, what is the coefficient? As I said, it should be the negative. So minus 3 by 4. So here it should be plus 3 by 4. Now there is z raised to minus 2. Now we don't have to, uh, let's say we connect this z inverse in series fashion so that this becomes z raised to minus 2 right here. Alright, it is like this. First we had z inverse, then we connected it in series so that when it comes down we get z raised to minus 2 because these both are multiplied. Alright, so it was understanding part. Now, again we have to write this coefficient and the coefficient is plus 1 by 3 so here it should be minus 1 by sorry it is plus 1 by 8 so here it should be minus 1 by 8 so this is the direct form 1 structure so it is direct form 1 structure now how to solve direct form 2 structure again in the previous part we did x of n here then plus sign then y of n here in this we will do opposite like plus signs here y side and y of n x of n here so this were close in direct form 1 in direct form 2 they are wide now what happens in direct form 2 is we had branches in direct form 1 here and also here and something structure was like this all right now the problem here is we use z inverse twice so how can we eliminate this by shifting this side poles in this side and zeros in this side then what will happen we can club this z inverse part into one so let's see how to solve them again when we come here as we said that poles part will come here this means that poles are here right now all right and zeros that were in direct form one here will shift to right hand side so zeros are here and we will club the common part that is the delay part will be clubbed so delay part will be clubbed all right so here is the first delay that is z inverse all right and always draw this why because in this side and in this side we have something in this side we have poles all right so our pole here was 3 by 4 and our 0 here was 1 by 3 all right whatever the coefficient were here will come here whatever the coefficient were here will come here simple now we have z raised to minus 1 again because now we need z raised to minus 2 term now in pole part we have only z raised to minus 2 term in zero part we don't have so in this we will write minus 1 by 8 and this coefficient is again from direct form 1 all right so this is our direct form 2 structure Now what is wrong in this is this this part this should be plus sign why because here we get z inverse term all right then we get a plus sign and this is by this all right then we get z raised to minus 2 term which comes from here so if you miss this your answer would be wrong so it is very important so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.